Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see from the title today, I will be doing another wig review. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl down below if you're not already and make sure you put those bell notifications on so you guys will be notified every single time your girl posts a new video. But yeah, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, I'm all nice, big, and curly. I haven't had a curly unit, I feel like, in forever, even though the last unit I did wear that was a curly wig was the, was it the Sensational Ina, Ina wig? I think it was that one. But anyway, so today's video, I will be reviewing the Sensational Empress Lace Wig Italian Curl. And this is what the stock card looks like. Now, truth be told, this time around, I did get a color number one. Now, honestly, this is maybe like, I would say, like my third or fourth time ordering this particular wig and wearing this wig. So I'm pretty much used to it. I realized that the past couple wigs that I've been reviewing on my channel haven't really turned out good or like the way I want them to. So I kind of just wanted to go back to a wig that I know isn't going to fail me and I know already how it acts. So yeah, for the most part, this is my go-to curly wig. If I want to have a certain curly hairstyle, I always go to this hair. Like I've been rocking this hair. I would say since like 2016 through 2017, like I've reordered this hair multiple times. So honestly, I'm already a little bit biased because I already know how it's going to be. I love the curls. Now I did wear this out to church, so this hair already is worn, but I definitely will be inserting a clip on how the hair originally looks like on my mannequin head. Now truth be told, I didn't really pluck the part or anything like that just because when it does come to curly units, I feel like it's not really necessary. But the only thing I did do to the part was that I added some mineral press powder from LA Colors. And actually what I tend to do is I flip my wigs inside out and then put the press powder in the part so it looks a little bit more natural. So that's what the lace looks like and that's what the part looks like and all that fun stuff. Now the lace that you do have to cut off when you first get this wig, I would say it's about here to here. So it's not like a complete lace frontal. If that's something that you guys are looking for, then this unfortunately won't be the wig for you. But if you really don't care for that and you're just happy that it does come with a very nice part, you'll be all good to go. Now, truth be told to me, I feel like this wig looks its best after about a week of wearing it on a daily basis just because obviously when you first get the wig, the curls are going to be like perfect, they're going to be uniform, but as you're wearing the hair, the curls kind of loosen up a bit and it looks a little bit more natural. Like even now, I love the way the curls look and I get nothing but compliments when I do wear this hair. So I'm usually a happy camper when it comes to wearing this. But as of now, it is about like right here to me. So like right at my boob. So it's not a super, super long unit. Like it's manageable. If you're not the type of person that likes to go over the top with super long like Rapunzel type wigs, this is definitely the hair for you in my personal opinion. Also, there are three combs that do come with this particular unit. So there's two combs like right here. And then there's also a comb in the back with adjustable straps. Now, me personally, I started using Got To Be Glue Gel when it does come to laying down my lace wig, so I don't use combs anymore whatsoever. So all I did was basically glued it down, and as you guys can see, it's not really going anywhere, thank God. But if you want it to look like this and looks like super flat and just laid and not puffy or anything like that, that's basically all I did to it. No mumble jumble, just slap a little bit of glue on there, let it dry a little bit, and then plop it on the wig, rub it out and you're good to go. Now I did purchase this unit at samsbeauty.com and typically, honestly, Sam's Beauty is usually like my first choice when it does come to buying units just because I love how fast the shipping is, I love the deals they usually have and all that fun stuff. I don't remember the price right off the bat, but I do know this hair, I think it was maybe like 22, 23 bucks because I had to buy a couple like little items to be able to get up to the 30 so I can get the flat rate shipping for $5. So it's very inexpensive. If you want something cute and curly like this, it's very, 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 I feel like the price is pretty fair in my opinion. Again, I did buy this unit multiple times before. I typically, I would get maybe about... I would say like three, three and a half weeks of the hair looking really nice before it starts looking 
really like frizzy and matted and all that stuff so you do get a decent amount of wear especially if you are wearing this hair as an everyday unit if anything I definitely will make sure to leave a link down in the description box on the price the color I got it in even though I said it's the color number one but just in case if anyone forgot or whatever Color number one, I'm gonna list the price on there once I get in, and then also the direct link that I use to purchase this wig. Another thing I really, 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 really love about this unit is that it automatically comes with layers. I've noticed a lot of curly synthetic units do not come with layers, and it sucks because it doesn't frame your face right, and again, if it's not layered, it kind of doesn't help give the illusion that it's your hair. So with that being said, as you guys can see, the hair is very short, not very short, but like it's shorter in the front and then it tends to go down. So it kind of also helps with the fullness of the wig. So I really do like that. If you're somebody that likes to wear a full face of makeup, definitely either plop the wig on last or if you do glue your hair down like I like to do, I would definitely make sure you like bobby pin it up. Now when it comes to the big heads and the small heads, I personally feel like this wig is big head friendly because again, I have to put the adjustable straps on and I usually put the adjustable straps to the tightest strap to make sure my hair is secured. But if you have a bigger head, you probably just won't need the adjustable strap. So if you do have a big head, I do consider this unit to be big head friendly. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. A part of me feels like I am. But if anything, I'll just make sure I leave a comment on the video and pin it so everybody can see it and all that good stuff. If you guys have any additional questions on this wig, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the review, like I said earlier, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl down below for more wig reviews, updates, makeup related videos, just overall fun good stuff. But yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day or evening or whatever time you guys happen to be watching this and I will see you in my next one.